our country um, has been driven by supply and demand. Our country has been driven by uh, profit. Um, but I think we're realizing now in these economic times that a small profit over a long period of time is going to be much more acceptable than large profits over a short period of time because uh, those short time periods uh, and large profits um, wreak havoc on the environment, uh, wreak havoc on the natural resources. Uh, I think we're finding this out uh, uh, painfully. Take the automobile industry, for example. They are going to have to uh, move toward smaller, more efficient cars. Um, uh, they've been reluctant to do so, and uh, they are in great financial trouble right now, as you know. Um, our government is bailing them out. Our government uh, is really acting more like a, a command market, um, really in the sense that uh, uh, the government is playing a very important role uh, where um, in market economies uh, um, the government is not supposed to play such a big role, but indeed uh, they are. So I think most countries today are going to have to be a mixture um, of these two approaches. And supply and demand can't always rule. It all boils down to a uh, plentiful, uh, cheap energy source. When you're using coal-fired uh, facilities to produce your, your energy, you not only pollute the air, but uh, it's a tremendous uh, uh, amount of energy you have to produce so that if you try to run your cars on hydrogen fuel, uh, you're still having to use the energy. I'm aware of uh, Iceland, for example. Um, they produce a lot of their energy from geothermal sources. The geothermal uh, production of energy is, uh, is plentiful. Um, and that is uh, a good resource uh, for energy. The natural heat of the earth creates geothermal resources. This heat comes from molten rock called magma, located at the earth's core, deep below the geothermal resource. Over thousands of years, rainwater seeps through cracks in the Earth's surface and collects in underground reservoirs. The magma heats the water until it becomes a superheated fluid. To reach the superheated fluid, wells are drilled 5,000 to 10,000 feet below the surface of the Earth. These wells, called production wells, bring the superheated fluid to the Earth's surface, where it can be used to generate electricity for homes and businesses. Waste management uh, is very important as far as waste management goes, solid waste. Um, the U.S. Uh, will recycle maybe about 30 percent. Um, we need to um, move that uh, much higher, uh, at least into the 60, 70 percent. Um, when we start managing uh, the waste better, um, I think that will mean a lot uh, to our country in terms of energy that we do have available. The Plasma Enhanced Melter, also known as the PEM, answers two pressing needs. The growing demand for clean, renewable fuels and the increasing call for the safe disposal of the overwhelming amount of waste produced every day. Rather than burning waste like an incinerator, the PEM technology converts waste into environmentally safe products while complying with EPA emission standards. The Richland PEM can process about 20% of the city's municipal waste, that's 25 tons of trash per day. I don't think there's any environmental problem that can't be linked either directly or indirectly to the population explosion basically, the exponential growth of the human population. As their populations increase, they are going to uh, exploit the land. Uh, it's inevitable. Um, but let's hope that, um, as I said before, that this uh, production can be sustainable. Indeed, um, planned parenthood and, and zero population growth, uh, these things should be uh, goals for many countries, controlling the population is probably the key to everything. I, I think that, uh, coupled with conservation, uh, renewable resources, restoration, recycling, 
um, and conservation of the resources that we do have, um, we must concentrate on those things. Um, if the future is going to be uh, bright and we're going to have a quality of life uh, for the future generations uh, that we've had here, certainly in the United States.